Hello there! I'm Tyra, and today I'll be taking you through this tutorial on HTML Camp. In this video, we'll be making a simple countdown timer for this website. If you're curious about how it was made and want to learn, be sure to stay till the end. Let's get started. Okay, so I created an HTML, CSS, and JS file before I started this video. Down in the body tag, I'll create a div with the class of hero. In it, I'll make a heading tag. Below the heading, create a div of class time box. Create another div with the class time. In it, make a h2 tag and set the ID to days. Create a p tag and type in the text days. I'll go ahead and do the same for the hours, minutes, and seconds section. Now let's link the style sheet to our HTML document. In the style sheet, I'll style all elements with padding zero and margin zero, box sizing, border box, and font family pop-ins. For the hero div, I'll set the height to 100 VH and add a background image. I'll set the background size to cover and the background position to center. Set display to flex and the flex direction to column. I'll also center it on the page. Lastly, I'll set the color to white. For the heading, let's set the font size to 4 rem, the font weight to 500, and the margin bottom to 20 pixels. And the time box div, I'll set display to flex, and the gap to 90 pixels. I'll also center the time elements. Let's style the h2 tags in the time divs with font size 5 rem and font weight 100. Okay, so in the HTML document, link the JavaScript file to it like this. I'm going to create a constant called days and set it to document.getElementById. For the ID, set it to days. Now we've created a reference to our days tag in the HTML file. Go ahead and do the same for the hours, minutes, and seconds. Now create a constant called target date and set it to the date and time you want the count to end. Also, it's time we'll be using for most calculations, so let's get the time. Now let's create a function called timer for our calculations. In this function, create a constant called current date to get the current system date and time. Note that for this to work, your computer's date and time must be correct. Now let's create another constant called distance and this will be the time interval between our target date and the current date. By the way, this interval is in milliseconds. Okay, let's jump into some mathematics. Create another constant called days and set it to math.floor to get a rounded value. Let's divide the distance in milliseconds by 1000 to get the seconds, and divide that by 60 to get the minutes, and divide that by 60 again to get the hours, and finally, divide the result by 24 to get the days. I hope we're all still on track here. Now, for the hours, we'll divide the distance by 1,000 and by 60 and by 60 again. Also, we'll need to find the remainder in 24 hours, so we'll have to mod the result with 24. This will give us the number of hours that pass in 24 hours, which is a day. I hope we're all good here. Now, let's work on the minutes. For the minutes, divide the distance by 1,000 and by 60 to get the minutes. Now, we'll mod the result with 60 to find the number of minutes that passed in an hour as the remainder. Lastly, the seconds. For that, divide the distance by 1,000 and mod the result with 60 to find the seconds that pass each minute. I hope we're all still on track. I know this part is a little tricky, but just try to hang on. Now I'll throw in a simple console.log statement just to confirm that our code is working properly. Okay, so I'll let this function repeat itself every 1,000 milliseconds, which is every second. Okay, so our program is correctly functioning. Let's go ahead and update the timer in real time. In the timer function, I'll set days.innerHTML to the calculated days and do the same for the rest. Now our timer is correctly updating itself, but we're not yet done. Back in the JS script, we'll check whether the distance is lesser than zero. If it is, then we'll reset the timer back to zero. Okay, so we finally made a functioning timer. I hope this video helped. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot. Thanks for your attention and support. I'll see you next time.